So I started selling on Etsy in May of this year to check out what the hype was all about. I saw a lot of videos of people making passive income with Etsy and as someone who've tried a lot of online businesses before such as Amazon FBA and um, Shopify, I wanted to see whether I could succeed on Etsy. So I gave myself 30 days to try out this experiment and today I'm going to walk you through the highs and lows that I went through and things that I learned and my results as well of how much that I made. So let's get started. So for the past three or four years I've been making digital art as a way to express myself and as a personal hobby. So I thought that it would be a good idea to combine two of my passions together which is making art and having a business. So I wanted to sell my original abstract pieces on Etsy as a way to monetize my passion for art. I made digital downloads of my artwork after watching several videos on how to do this. I made different templates of uh, the different sizes that people would need once they had a digital download and I prepared all those files, did all of the thumbnails for the products. I actually already had the store from about five years ago. I was selling some other products on there, also my original artwork but not digital downloads. So this time I wanted to experiment with digital downloads and see where I could go with that. So the first step was deleting all of the artworks and products that I no longer use and then I uploaded some new artworks that I created. I handcrafted the thumbnails and the descriptions to make sure that they were as descriptive as possible and then I posted them with tags as well um, filling in all of these sections that were needed to make an Etsy listing. And once my shop was up and running, I did a little bit of marketing by posting it on my stories. But other than that, I didn't really do too much other things. Uh, so that was one thing that I did not do, which is like running Etsy ads. I know people run Etsy ads to get traffic to their store. And that was one thing I didn't want to invest money in. I also used the Sales Samurai extension to check out how my competitors were doing and what type of products they were selling and how much sales they were getting, how many new listings they were posting as well. So after posting my own original artworks on Etsy, I realized that I was not really getting much sales or traction, but I was surprised to wake up the next day with two new sales. And after I checked them out, I realized that those sales were made from selling to a friend that I already had back in Canada. So after seeing my own prints not working, I decided to open up my mind about what kind of products I can sell and I decided to start using Midjourney to create some t-shirt designs. Now you might have probably seen those videos that are recommended to you on YouTube about creating Midjourney designs to sell on Etsy. Or those are the videos that I saw as well. I've been using Midjourney to create generative AI art for a while now. So I was like, okay, why not try making AI generated artworks and selling them on Etsy? So I created two t-shirt designs from Midjourney and then I put them on Etsy using print on demand. I used Printify to upload those listings and after uploading those listings, I also did not get any traffic or any sales from those as well. So then I started doing more research. I realized that some people were successful selling Midjourney prompts and they were selling these prompts at a very low price, like two or three dollars. And I was thinking, okay, I can be pretty good at Midjourney prompts. And so I found some prompts that worked really well for me and I listed them as two separate products. I was thinking, you know, just testing things out. So after I posted those two Midjourney prompts on Etsy, I also did not get any success and I did not get any sales. Now at this point, I was selling three different products on my Etsy store. I'm selling my own original artwork, I'm selling Midjourney created t-shirt designs. I'm also selling uh, Midjourney prompts and perhaps this might be too confusing to people visiting my store but at this point I've tried three different products and I've only received two sales and they were all from a friend that I already had. So in terms of my experiment in the last 30 days, I don't think that Etsy was a quite successful experiment for me just because I wasn't able to get any traffic and when you watch those videos on YouTube it always seems so much easier than it is. It seems like you just post a lot of listings and you can start making sales, but it's always more complicated than it seems. And Etsy, this experiment with Etsy taught me that um, entrepreneurship is a lot harder than I thought, especially running your own e-commerce store. And amidst all the competition nowadays, everybody is starting an Etsy store. So I think that it might be getting a lot more saturated and I'm not sure if I wanna to continue to compete in the market. So I think there might have been two things I could have done better. The first thing is to stick to one niche and post a few different products every single day. 
I kind of just only posted like two in every niche just to try them out instead of sticking with one niche and consistently posting every single day. And the other thing perhaps that would work better is selling service-based products in a smaller niche. Because my products were more artworks and more products, I'm not sure how many people would be willing to buy them because they're not fulfilling a problem, they're more fulfilling an aesthetic. So perhaps I would experiment with creating service-based products, for example, worksheets for pregnant moms or or creating business plans for business owners. So these kind of PDFs or downloads that people can actually use perhaps might sell better on Etsy, but I'm not sure how saturated they are, but perhaps that could be my next experiment. So all in all, in my 30 days on Etsy, I made $25.71 revenue from my digital downloads, and that was selling my original artwork. However, that is not accounting for all of the subscriptions that I have. So I'm paying about $40 a month for my mid-journey plan. So that brings me to a loss of $15 a month. And I think that I learned a lot through this experience because it taught me e-commerce is not as easy as I thought. Even though I already tried Amazon FBA before and I know that it is a lot of work, but I still wanted to give Etsy a try just to see how the market is and how it would work for me. And I also wanted to share my journey with you guys in case you are also looking for advice and just looking at how other people are doing. But I know that there are a lot of you out there who are still trying and getting success on Etsy. So if you have any tips, I would love to hear your story. Please leave them down in the comments below. And I would love to learn from all of your journeys on Etsy. I hope you found my one month Etsy journey insightful and interesting. And if you gain something from this, please like and subscribe and I'll be posting more videos about digital nomading on entrepreneurship. And I'll see you next time.